Chris Crabo in the 32, Shane Page in the 34, Robert Clark in the 36, Caden Anderson in the 37, Derek Rapcheff in the 58, Matt Rosler in the 69, Steve Glenn in the 22, Dan Beecher in the 74. So that's the order that they're in. And when we go green, we'll get you in the order that they're going to fire this thing off. But it's going to be Jake Woods and Randy Schaff on the front row. Green flag out. And we are underway. Dan Beecher with a peep wet race win earlier in the afternoon for the Columbia River Legends as they are working lap number one. We've got a car, but extremely slow. The 12 uh, way at the back there, that black one. First lap in, it's Randy Schaff, followed by Caden Anderson and Dwayne Swanson. Swanson now underneath Anderson to take over the second spot. And Jake Woods in the 22 making some noise to move up into the third spot as well. But no surprise, Randy Schaff, an absolute master behind the wheel of these Columbia River legends. He's been doing a mighty, mighty long time. Scheduled distance is 40 laps for the Columbia River Legends. <laughs> Field getting spread out. Notice, noticeably absent is the 81 of Marty Rosler, which is too bad. But boy, I tell you, these top two cars have done battle for years in these legends, and especially here at Evergreen Speedway. It's the 23 of Schaff, the 16 of Swanson, the 22 of Woods, the 37 of Anderson, your top four. Then we go back to Matt Rosler in the 69. Top two cars definitely breaking away. The 22 of Woods, the 37 of Caden Anderson, the 69 of Marty Rosler, the 17D of Dana Glenn, Gary Wagner, Steve Glenn, Jesse Branham, and Dan Beecher make up your top 10. And here comes Dwayne Swanson. It's getting closer and closer every lap. And they're gonna start getting up into some lap traffic here pretty quick. Now again, these guys are on a system called Race Receiver, and that means that uh, they can be spoken to, they just can't speak back. And leaders making their way to uh, first set of cars to put them a lap down. It's still Ron, Randy Schaaf and Dwayne Swanson. And they just keep clicking off with 19 second laps, comes across the line and down into one. It's still Randy Schaff who went extremely hot into turn number one. A brilliant job of saving that number 23 car from spinning around. Dwayne Swanson still about five car lengths back behind as they're getting back up into some more lap traffic. This may be the place where Swanson can lick his chops and maybe use one of these lap cars as a pick.
And, wow, Schaaf taking a bold move to go down low out of turn number two to get past a couple of lap traffic. Swanson stuck back in there behind him. That was a brilliant move by Randy Schaaf. And there is now a lap car in between first and second spot. Randy Schaaf now with his biggest lead. Oh, we got the 24 car with a beautiful save. Holy smokes. That'll bring out the caution. And they will 